Conradi has come into the lineup, and it is pouring here in Chicago. Conradi on his very first play, firing out to Tommy Riemann and a flash of lightning, and believe me, it is coming down. Oh. Lee Trevino at the Western Open a year ago here in Chicago, and that lightning caught him a little bit, and uh, some of the fans, I think, remember about that. Many of the fans have pulled out, and we frankly don't blame them. <laughs> Lightning cracking all around Soldier Field here in Chicago. Franco Harris obviously a little visible on the sidelines. Setbacks now are Fuqua, 33, Rocky Blyer, number 20. And now Gaines is in there with Tommy Raymond. This is Raymond. I prefer my axe. I think you can climb right through the storm, Judge. <laughs> Third down and four. Terry Henry to the quarterback. And he dribbles butt off. Picked off. Picked off there by number 35, Schaefer Sucks. Turn on the rain. Five-yard penalty offside against the Steelers. Looks like a snowstorm. Michigan against Ohio State. <laughs> Archie Griffin, the Heisman Award winner, around the right side, upended by somebody. I really cannot tell you exactly who got in there. Uh, they say you never stop a football game. But this is impossible. There's no way we can read the yard markers. They get our nod. Everything coming unglued now in the booth. <laughs> This calls for a little poise on the field. <laughs> Second down at five. Jeff Blood holds on to the football. <laughs> they're having a carnival down at the one end of the field. Youngsters on the field, sliding. Third down and six. They have the driest spot in town, but uh, believe me, it's not too dry up here. You must have known yeah, something. You can't he see it on the field. You cannot, you literally cannot see it. on the field. I have never seen anything quite like it. The only time I have is when I was a kid in Minnesota and we used to play in a snowstorm, Frank, and that's just about what it looks like, even though this time it's straight up rain. There's literally hundreds of people out on the field now, sliding around. They're enjoying what's happening. It's going to be awfully hard to get control again and get them all off the field because it's very hard to identify them. And Absolute got the Steelers going to the sidelines. And I would suspect that the Steelers are, oh, wow, here comes one, baby. I think you'll probably be able to hear this one. I think we better get a little delay in the game, <laughs> even though by football rules you're not supposed to. That took three seconds. Speed of sound, what, 720? Well, we're 1,400 feet away. We've got both teams wisely going to the dressing rooms. Uh, we're not going to lose anybody to the lightning. An unbelievable thunderstorm. The Steelers out in front of the All-Stars, 24 to nothing. 122 remaining in the third quarter. And you can hear the crash and roar of the thunder. I have no idea what we're going to do. We'll stay with you and try and let you know what's happening. And what we are looking at is... I tell you, I'm from uh, Oklahoma, Frank, and this could look like tornado, believe me. You can see those things flying by. As wild as it looks on your monitor, believe me, it's even much more wild than that. Both teams now have gone in. The officials have left the field. Youngsters, young and old, sliding around on the synthetic cars. That's the story. 1.22 left in the third quarter. Seems to be letting up somewhat. Now, how in the world, though, the law and order restored here? I have no idea. All the years I coached, Frank, I don't remember one game that uh, was delayed by rain. We were scheduled to play Boston College one night on a Friday night, and uh, it rained like this, and we decided to just put the game back one day, and we played it on a Saturday night. But that's the only time I've heard of a game being delayed by rain when it's football. PA announcement just came through. The game has not been called off. It obviously has been postponed because both teams have gone to the locker room. That's, that's 
the scene. The field entirely covered now with young people and old people, really, who we also, were just so uh, wet they just didn't care. Have the uh, chain gang going into the dressing room, and I don't know whether that means that somebody has said maybe we've had enough and we won't start play again, or whether they just are so, so through and are worried about the lightning. It's an unbelievable downpour here in Chicago. Recap the scoring. Durella three field goals. <laughs> then there was a safety. With the ball being snapped over the punter's head for the All-Stars. Harris went in. On a draw play. Riemann scores from two yards out. That's the scoring. 24 to nothing. The Pittsburgh Steelers, the champions of the National Football League, with the Super Bowl win over Dallas last January. And the, the All-Stars. Uh, goalposts are down at one end of the field, Frank. The young men that uh, have uh, moved out on the field have taken the south goalpost down. So that's going to make it a little tough if we do resume play. And I expect some of them will maybe move up to the other end of the field. That's uh, the goalpost that's gone. One of the bars being carried off the field by a group of young people. One really kind of has to wonder how far we're going to go. And I don't know how in the world they'll get this game resumed. Well, they've lost most of the crowd, and uh, about the only crowd remaining is the crowd you see out on the field. If you look at the top of your screen, the stands are empty. Commissioner Pete Rosell is with us, as is the head of the Chicago Tribune Charities. They are here in the boxes next to us. I don't know what decision they might make. We have a game that the game had not been called off. Very strong squadron of policemen protecting the north goalpost, though. I think we'll be able to keep that goalpost from being torn down. Meanwhile, they're really doing a number on the other one. We can forget that one for potential field goals. <laughs> there goes means, part of it. That means all field goals will be kicked into the wind should we resume play. to alert our station down the line that we will be joining you very shortly and we have understood that the game has been called. Now, we have not had a definite word that it has been called, but that is our understanding at the moment. A tremendous downpour, an incredible amount of lightning. We have not been hit in the immediate area, but there have been several inches of water falling. A area around the football field has maybe a foot and a half or two feet of water and we'll just once again tell you that the final score the Steelers over the All-Stars 24 to nothing this is Frank Gifford along with Bud Wilkinson and Lee Gros Groskup saying so long from a wild soldier field in Chicago Illinois the college all-star football game has been brought to you by Gillette makers of good news the all-new one-piece twin blade disposable razor by Toyota you asked for it the official car of the superstars. You got it, Toyota. Also brought to you by Sears Tire and Auto Centers, home of the Die Hard Battery. And Sears Road Handler Seal Belted Radial Tire. Travel arrangements made through and a promotion will be paid by United Airlines. United featuring Royal Hawaiian Service on more wide body 747s to Hawaii than any other airline. The proceeding, a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television, the other goalposts come down. Good night. <laughs>